Hello and welcome to another episode of Horror Junkies. I'm Mike. Pat. What's up? It's Austin. Angel. All right, guys, we're back at it again in the studio. We're going to talk about Blair Witch, the original and the new sequel that was released today, uh, last week. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! Woo. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm back. <laughs> Austin's back. We <laughs> missed him last week. Yeah. Um, yeah. As well as we got some pretty cool things in the show. We got like some upcomings. We got some, you know, of course, today in horror history. And of course, uh, Austin's dope ass question of the day. Don't and, forget my question. And we got Pat Kilby's random rant of the day. And me and Angel got alcohol. And there is alcohol in there the studio. There, yeah. Drinking. <laughs> um, sip, sip. So, uh, Angel. Talking about upcoming releases, what's uh, coming out? What's new, bro? Friday the 13th video game. I have seen this. I have seen this. I've yep. seen it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be on multi-platforms, PS4, Xbox 360, PC. Ooh. Asymmetrical multiplayer, like third person. And, dude, it's going to be wild, man. What Have about you, the VR? You Wait, you play as Jason, right? So you're well, the bad guy. Or you so, can play as a counselors or Jason. Yeah. Okay, so. so, like, it's like, what is it? Seven, it's a seven versus one type of game, right? Is Jason Voorhees versus seven other people? or is Yeah, it, and it's like, yeah. I think, I don't know if it's open world or if it's going to be, like, multiple levels. But <laughs> I think uh, open world would be better. Uh, yeah. that would you be can sick. do, like, whatever you want. You yeah, can no, swim, that'd be you sweet. can kill someone, you can... Um, I don't know if you guys, if listeners out there, if you've seen the trailers for it yet, but it is completely crowdfunded, which is awesome. Yeah. So it has no limitations of what they can do, um, and it looks awesome. I just want to be Jason Voorhees. I want yeah. to kill some camp counselors. <laughs> it looks nasty. It really does. Very gory. Like, it should be cool. A lot of kills, a lot of blood, a lot of arms and legs <laughs> being chopped off. If you like horror, you'll like killing people in this horror game. They should do a VR like experience with that, too. That would be mm. actually really cool. I mean, VR is becoming like the new thing now, so a VR would be really cool to see. Mm-hmm. Anything, Anything else? else? Anything else? What else is coming up? There's got to be some more things coming up. Nothing. That's all you got? That's all you, that's all you, got, you got for us? Spooky well, Empire is mean, coming <laughs> up well, soon. Well, Spooky Empire, man. Yeah, that's going to be sick. <laughs> spooky Empire. Only I think, are you going to go, Austin? I want to. You should go. I'm not going. Pat's not going. Why not? He hates conventions. Mm. For mm. those of you who don't know, Spooky Empire is a convention that comes to Orlando once a year or twice a year. Twi- twice. twice, twice, just once. Yeah, it's once I a year th- in the fall. Oh, okay. It used well, to be mayhem and yeah, there used to be oh, okay. mayhem, and uh, now it's Spooky Empire, and it's gotten really big, and it's in the Orlando Convention Center. Angel always dresses up as Freddy Krueger. Yep, I don't always. I went as That's the guy from the Strangers one year. Oh, nice. Mm. Well, the potato sack guy. Yeah, the potato sack guy from the first episode. Um. <laughs> all right well uh awkward uh no but spooky empire is really cool because it's actually like a convention in our area of the woods where horror fans can get together and geek out over horror icons that they love um i'm looking forward to it uh we're actually going to be there filming so if you are there and want to be interviewed for the youtube channel be sure to hit us up and we'll find you there we will find you come hang out with we'll us We'll hunt I'll you down. You. Um, well, another thing that's going on is today is Friday, September 23rd, and there's some cool things that happened in history. Let's hear it. Uh, all right. So in this day, um, 1968, a movie by the name of Dead Ringers. Anyone heard mm. it, Patrick? Isn't that yep. the new Knock Loose song? Dead I, Ringer. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but this is directed by David uh, Cronenberg, and it's also written by David Cronenberg and nice. Norman Snyder. Um, it actually turns 48 today, so happy 48th birthday, Dead Ringers. Yes. Damn, um, old bitch. Yeah, it's old. He's also the director for uh, The Fly, if, for oh, those who don't I know. I love so that movie. If you like The Fly you're pro- and you haven't seen Dead Ringers, you're really going to enjoy Dead Ringers. Mm-hmm. Um it's pretty cool. I watched uh, bits of it last night, and it's kind of weird and gory. And like these like twin gynecologists use the fact that they no one can tell them apart. And Patrick they, looks like he's loving it. Patrick, any Keeps thoughts? On this I like that movie. movie. You, you like, like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's all you're gonna give us and the listeners is I like that movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give us a synopsis, Patrick. No. Well, Mike was Dude, that. I got you. Don't worry. For <laughs> those of you who want to know about this movie, so pretty much, like I said, uh, these twin gynecologists take full advantage of the fa- <clears throat> excuse me of the fact that nobody can tell them apart. Um, 
this actually starts to dismantle when their relationship begins to deteriorate over a woman. So actually a woman gets involved and their relationship breaks down. What do you know? What do you know? Um, Also, uh, today, uh, celebrating its 11th anniversary is Tim Burton's Corpse's Bride, which is like my second favorite Tim Burton movie. Patrick is giving thumbs down. And why is that, Patrick? I don't like that movie. Why? And why not? I'm not giving a reason. I just don't like it. All right. That's your thing today? All yeah, right. Patrick's just Patrick's not going to uh, give short explanations. Today. <laughs> I um, worked today. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's just like, nah. Nah. Nope. Yeah. I, Dang, he's that old. I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, Sick. Tim Burton, my man, always making good films. The dude. The dude. Um, on, the, uh, on the darker side of today's horror, actually, um, the author Robert Blotch, he actually wrote the novel Psycho. He passed away at the age of 77. Uh, wow. Mm-hmm. Also, if you like, if you don't know him just from Psycho, he also wrote numerous TV shows. Um, some include Star Trek, Thriller, Night Gallery, um, Monsters, Tales from the Dark Side. Um, he's been influential in writing a lot of right. TV shows, scripts, and things like that. Um, so, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in power. Rest in power. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Better term. Better term. That dude um, uh, definitely had a good mind on him for he sure. Did. No, he's <clears throat> written some pretty awesome things. I'd actually like to see his Star Trek episodes. I don't think I've ever watched any of his uh, tales from Star Trek, which I'd probably find that enjoying. Mm-hmm. What's next, Angel? What's on your mind? You look like you're. Angel's got something. He's smiling really hard. I'm still thinking about the Friday the Thirteenth game, man. <laughs> what are your honest thoughts on it? We can go I, back to it. I mean. Honestly, dude, I've always wanted a slasher film, like, video game to where, like, because we used to do that all the time. Like, we would play, like, games like Halo 2 or something like mm-hmm. that, and then we would assign, like, one person would be, like, picked out. He'd be, like, the, the killer or whatever, and then, like, he would just come around. Like, he would have, like, energy sword or, like, whatever. Like, we would play it in Doom, too. But it's like the there was just like a, a killer, and then everybody else just kind of like runs away, like tries so, to fight him, but he's got a fucking weapon. Like, so you'd make yeah. like your own horror video games out of non horror video games. Yeah. So now they have one. That's pretty cool. Same concept. I mean, there was there's been some horror video games, not this style. Uh, growing up, I mean, one of the first ones I played was Resident Evil. Right. So right. I mean, I think everyone's played Resident Evil. Or at least I would hope that I miss yeah. I miss the Evil. cinematic Resident Evil. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like, I'm talking Resident Evil PlayStation One. Yes. Like I'm talking old school Resident yes. Evil with the dogs and Tom <laughs> Licker, like hard. You couldn't beat it. I like movie. I like the Outbreak games because they were online. I don't think yeah. I ever played the Outbreak games. Ooh, those were fun. They were yeah. like it was like four player co op yeah. online, mm-hmm. and you just go, go around and like there were there was like a like a zoo level, so there mm-hmm. were like zombie elephants and like giraffes. Yo, yeah, you had to shoot the elef- the guts were like hanging out. You had to like shoot at its guts. And stuff <laughs> like that. If we're gonna talk about like one of like pretty great um, horror games, Dead Space runs all. Dead Space, Dead Space runs yeah. runs all. Yeah, um, it takes a lot. I mean, that game was incredible. But I've, that's that's for another show. We'll talk about oh video yeah. games. <laughs> yeah, we'll nerd out later. You know, one of the main talking points of today's show is Blair Witch and yep. the Blair Witch sequel that was just released last week. But, you know, both of those are urban legends. So my area of talking, which makes no sense, but the area I want to discuss is urban legends. And I like, love urban legends. Same mm-hmm. here. Scary um, stories. Like, what, like, what what about urban legends fat like get you pulled in like what is one of those stories that just like you read it you were like i need to know more i need to know like why this became a thing and you know those right. type of things like so you know starting this off angel like what what is like what urban legend like really just like pulled you in and wanted you wanting more my my thing with urban legends is I just don't want to like run into anything in the dark, really. Like, right. I yeah, mean, no, I agree. <laughs> I'm sure everybody feels that way when you get out of your car. Your friend, you have that one friend that lives in the middle of like, <laughs> where, like in the rural, like. And then you and then you pull up. They have a gate in the front, and you have to lock the gate. And you're like, and oh, shit, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Kind of turn around. <laughs> yeah. Like somebody's like watching you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, my urban legend that I picked that really sucks that stuck out to me, um, and my grandma and my family would always, like, mention it. I'm Puerto Rican, so. Uh, what? But it's, uh, yeah. I never guessed. Yeah, you know that? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's uh, the Chupacabra. 
And dude, I'm too chupacabra. chupacabra. Yeah, yeah that was goats. that. Though there was a that was cited as early as 1995. Um, basically described as a like a reptilian, it's like, like a dog rodent. Right? It's it looks like a dog. I I don't know. I've seen multiple pictures. I've seen like a rodent version of it, and then I've seen. Like a reptilian, like drawing. I feel like since there's been so many sightings spread across, you know, Central and South America, that like no one truly. It's like it's like Sasquatch. Like everyone has this idea of Sasquatch, and no one really knows like what it really looks like, except for the people who actually have like the photos. It's all like the general same shape and size but it exactly. always looked yeah it yeah. always looked different oh it had big red eyes and then someone's like well it had yellow eyes that were tiny right right like, but no dude the chupacabra always was one of those that got me it was just like man i wonder because what, like it could be real what made it what was it so scary wasn't it like eating crops or like it no, was no, no, no it was actually uh when they started citing it um a bunch of like farm owners would go out to uh, take care of their animals and they would f- go to the pens and they would find that animal in that pen like their necks would be right or and, like yeah yeah like chunks of it missing and like crazy shit like yeah that. so I mean like they would find just like half eaten carcasses of like cattle and stuff like right. and That's so I mean they, they got its, <laughs> yeah. it got its nickname as uh, the goat sucker like it's that's what chupacabra means but it's a cross between two different languages that's pretty cool. much yeah, I've, I've heard about that a while ago, but... No, like, it was actually, like, in recent news, like, not, like, 2016, but maybe 2015, maybe I, I could be thinking 2014, mm-hmm. and, like, someone caught what they thought was the Chupa Chupachabra. Chupachaba? Uh, <laughs> Chupa 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 I'm very white. Chewbacca. I'm sorry. <laughs> they caught Chewbacca. <laughs> um, but no, like, and they actually had, like, footage of this thing in the cage, and, dude, whatever it was, I've never seen it before. Really? Didn't look like a dog. Imagine that. Yeah. Like, just walking into a cave, it's like, you, you see you guys seen The Descent, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah just, of course. I, I always think about that, going to a cave, and it's just, you uh, you don't know if it's been explored before, like, what you can find in I'm there. Sh- I'm sure yeah. Austin and I can have don't some cool stories about Ocala going <laughs> yeah, to the caves. Right? Yeah. I used to watch The Descent and then go into caves in Ocala yeah. and, at night. Uh, the hell is wrong with you? Uh, that's what you do in Ocala, man. There's nothing to do, so that's, that's what you do. That's what you do. <laughs> Um, I've been in Ocala Caves. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Yo, so, ur- urban legends, like, the thing that I like about them is, like, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like, you can watch a movie, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, for, like, Scream, for example, or something, like, I mean, that could be real. A killer could come in the house with a mask on and stuff, but, like, you know you're watching a movie. Yeah. And, like, you're in a theater, so it's scary, but you know, like, oh, this is on film. These are actors and stuff, but the thing about urban legends that I like is that you real like you're hearing the story from someone who supposedly heard it from someone else who maybe saw it or you know what I'm saying like it's passed down stories that could be real and you can't prove that they're not um so that's why I like them um no I I, I agree with you it's it's like it's truly it's scary personal. because yeah it's real personal it's like these aren't actors getting killed this is a real story that these are happened things this. that people are passing down yeah like, yeah it's like it's not just you know, some of these we do find online, but, like, mm-hmm. there's some stories, like, you know, Ocala uh, has its own urban legends, and so does Orlando. Yep. But, like, you're just, like, you want to know, like, why? Who came up with that story, and why is they it... they see? Keep- unless exactly. It's re- unless it's real, right. Unless so it's just real. Like- I mean, all all myths start from a truth. Right. That's, that's fact. Like, right. Any type of mythology resort uh, comes from a, some sort of truth. It's just changed over this uh, over the centuries. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, an event has to happen for that story to, or something has to trigger somebody to be like, okay, well, well yeah, let me let's make I a story. This, this and that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> well, I was on. Um, <clears throat> this was a while ago. I was on Netflix and I was just looking for something like a horror movie to watch, and mm-hmm. I um, fell across this documentary called Cropsy. Um, Never and I heard th- of him. Yeah, I thought I've heard the name before. I thought. So I clicked on it, started watching it, and it was amazing. It's a documentary. Um, it's a legend um, up in New York, I think, like Staten Island, um, about a guy who I guess there's this big patch of woods up there, um, around like, you know, around like big part of the city, right on the outskirts, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. And there's like old um, abandoned mental hospitals, um, and so apparently this guy named Cropsy lives in these abandoned um, mental hospitals in the middle of the woods, and at night, uh, when like teenagers, you know, go walking uh, to, in the woods to smoke weed, anything like that, like around these woods where you like the parents probably wouldn't want their like 
middle school or high school to go he snatches him up uh what the, okay, yeah and that's so yeah so it's like that's like kind of like a normal legend you hear like oh there's a guy in the woods and stuff yeah. but what's scary about the documentary like the people who made this documentary um they grew up in this area and they always heard about Cropsey. Mm-hmm. and what made them make this documentary is that um like after they moved away and they were adults there was actually a story that broke out about a middle school girl with down syndrome got snatched up in those woods from a guy from a white male who um and so like they went searching for her and they found like um a cot and food and stuff in this abandoned hospital like this was re- it oh, really boy. happened yeah so the documentary is they were like we heard this our whole life and it actually happened to somebody so it's them investigating and like talking to people around the town it's a really cool documentary so what's, I recommend what's the it. name of the documentary it's just called Cropsy Cropsy and it's, it's on you said it's on Netflix it was I don't was? think it is anymore it's spelled C-R-O-P-S-E-Y E-Y so Cropsy. yeah if that sounds interesting to you please like I'm gonna watch that yeah, yeah I've never heard of the Cropsy it's really so cool that sounds really cool yeah what makes you think like there's a lot of abandoned places and estates in the world basically and oh, it's yeah. like you know you, you think about it <laughs> with all that and you know there was like recently like i've like learned that like i don't know the past year or something like you guys seen like the posts that circulate on facebook that are like the clowns in florida like jacksonville area. oh yeah yeah dude, they're everywhere like, now yeah it's like clown sightings everywhere but like it's like you know it could be somebody playing a prank right but, but it's like know. it could be somebody like right it could so be that's what's scary about it, it actually could be pennywise could be oh, God. or they could be just like demons or something like, <laughs> i mean they you know what i mean aliens, dude who knows no yeah. dude no it, that's <laughs> space that's what i love about <laughs> urban legends is that like truly no one really knows unless you take it and you're like studying it people who study like mythologies and right, study right. these stories there, there is yeah there are areas of study where people dig deep into this uh we're talking about abandoned places in the woods and creepy people that snatch up people. Right. Leads me to my urban legend, which is Slender Man. That's your favorite. Dude. Slender mm, Man. Not, is it a, not most, only is it my so favorite, popular. but it's it's how I became to know Slender Man. That made okay. it so much better. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be so, funny. I think we all when have our I, stories. When, yeah. <laughs> so when I was living in Ocala, God, this is like, think... I just graduated, so 2011, I was living on my own right. uh, in the historic district, which, for those who don't know, it's it's I've a pretty there. old area of Ocala um, that survived, like, a huge fire. It's old. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been old, to your house. And yeah, you've been to my... Yeah. So, Parties. E- exactly. <laughs> there are some creepy houses out yeah, there. Yeah, there are. Um, and I don't know how I stumbled upon it one night. I was on YouTube downstairs by myself in the dark, and I just started watching all these documentaries on this creature called slender man and it got to the point where i was like creeping myself out and i usually don't get scared like i, I love creep myself out all the time so. <laughs> but like when you're alone at downstairs in your two-story house and no one's awake and it's an old house like you just start getting like these weird vibes right. GBGBs. so i mean like i've watched probably every documentary on youtube back then i don't know there's probably so many more now on youtube about slender man mm-hmm. and i've I watched all the marble hornets uh, web series about Slender Man. Yeah, I mean, I eventually found out it was it was fake. But what I was like when I started researching like about Slender Man is like, even though it was like created through the internet, like on a uh, uh, creepy pasta, creepy pasta, right, like right. Uh, uh, Reddit. All yeah, that. I'm yeah. trying to think of the word. Yeah. I can't. It's escaping me. A uh, competition, like make a. It was like make an ordinary picture creepy or something. Oh right, right, right. And yeah. that's how like it became known on the internet. Uh-huh. But like researching it like there's actually been like sci- uh sightings early like i mean like cave paintings in brazil type paintings of like depicting a creature with like, like looking with just like sl- whoa because yeah, yeah. in some of these fanfics and conspiracy theories like slenderman has these tentacles in the back of him so like and it doesn't just go from there i mean egyptian hieroglyphics to german woodcuts it's like through our history of man mankind i should say um there's been this sighting of this tall, slender creature that kidnaps people. And no one truly knows what he does with the people he takes. He's a shapeshifter. I mean, yeah. at least from what I've read, I mean, I interpret it as sometimes his his victims, like, would see him in a tree form. Or mm-hmm. they would see him in, like, that tall man, like, suit form with, like, the bald head sick. and yeah, no face. Sick. And, I mean, like, just pulling something up online, like, right now... 
like we're talking about how this this urban legend has been how old it is. This is a Romanian mythology. It's a fairy tale about a legend of a tall man. And this is the, this is what it says. <clears throat> The tall man stood in a clearing, dressed as a nobleman, all in black. Shadows lay over him, dark as a cloudy midnight. He had many arms, all long and boneless as snakes, all sharp as swords, and they uh, withered like worms on nails. He did not speak, but he made his intentions known. Like, that's I mean, so creepy. Uh, that's so that freaking is, that creepy, is, man. Like, that's dude. creepy pasta. On, yeah. Got it. Got it. Now... Hold on. Shouts out to uh, a podcast that me and Mike listen to, uh, Black Tapes. Oh, yeah. Black Tapes. If you don't, if you like creepy, like, docudramas, go listen to that. Yeah. Uh, there, but there was a, the first, in the, in the first Black season, Tapes, in the first episode, they talk yeah. about the, the tall man. Yes. They refer, and uh, it just reminded me of. Yeah. I remember, like, listening to this podcast after Patrick recommended it to me mm-hmm. and listening to the first podcast and I immediately texted him. I was yeah. like, dude, are they talking about Slender Man right now? And he's like, dude, I think so. So <laughs> if you're definitely into like listening to podcasts in your car or when you're alone at, at night, listen to the black tapes. After you're done Uber, listening to ours, yeah. Exactly. It is it is so yeah, of course. It's very, very creepy. It yeah. is something to listen to if you're going down a really dark road mm-hmm. and there's just nothing but trees or something next to you and all you can see is like your high beams that's yeah. something to listen to yeah it, it will <laughs> definitely creep you out that's pretty but, cool uh, the last person we haven't heard from is uh the man making the weird noise patrick <laughs> kilby <laughs> all right so urban legends uh back in my old old town in pennsylvania there was this urban legend that went around i only heard it from my babysitter and years later would go visit this area that this urban legend takes place from right so from what i can remember uh my babysitter told me that there's this house through her drive through on the off-road there's this house Mm -hmm. two-story house blue with red with a red roof paint me a picture patrick paint a picture (laughs) (laughs) um and what she told me i'm already there (laughs) And this was, again, this was, like, throughout the town, everyone talked mm-hmm. about this house. Okay, cool. So, you would have to cut through her driveway and make a sharp right turn to get to the house. Okay. And what what town is this? Like, where... where Poconos. Poconos? Mm-hmm. Okay. Never that just sounds it. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the that's where weird things <laughs> like, happen. Yeah. All right, so we got a two-story house, blue with a red roof. In yeah. the middle of the woods. Middle of the woods. So, the way that it was laid out is when you go through the drive through or the driveway, sorry... You cut in, and then it's the back of the house, not the front of it. So the driveway's in the back. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of one of those weird, weird designed mm-hmm. house that you see like the, you see their porch and you see the sliding glass doors. And okay. And you walk around, and it's actually the front door. Okay. Which leads to another. Okay. Driveway. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Right. So the the urban legend was, you go, you walk, you walk, you don't drive, you walk to this house. Mm-hmm. You knock three times on the screen door, walk around. And then walk back, and the sliding glass door will open. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. And when I was, I was told this urban legend when I was like four or five years old by what my a, babysitter. What a bad babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's next door. I'm like, let's not go. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, watch cartoons, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. But it wasn't until years later, I was like eight or nine, and I was with uh, two friends of mine. Tony and Regis. I want to remember. Wait, I, I, got, remember. I got two questions first. Let's go. Okay. So is the house abandoned or the people live there? No one lives there. Okay. okay. And second, Weird. are you going to get to what happens if the door opens? Yes. I mean, does the door open? You're like, oh, that was cool. And you walk away. No, we okay. went inside the house. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Go ahead. <laughs> you got me wanting more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we go inside or? Like? Yeah, we do. So it's me, my friend Tony, and Regis. I'm 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 about eight or nine. This is the year before I I left to come to Orlando. Tony's about twelve years old. Regis is about the same age as Tony. So one day we're like playing video games or something. We got bored and we're like, "All right, let's fucking go to this house." Right, <laughs> let's do it. We're, let's do we're it. We're finally <laughs> grown ups. We got yeah. now that we're men. We can do this. <laughs> fucking twelve year old. <laughs> so we go in and we we walk. It's like mid afternoon. So it's not dark out yet, but it's about to be. Right. So we get to the house. We walk. We knock on the door. 
walk around, walk back. The door's open. Mm, okay. So we're freaking the fuck out, but we're like, kind of like, okay, All right, let's right. fucking go in. Right. So we go in, and the house is still has like shit in it. Okay. Like it's they, abandoned. No one lives in there. So it's like someone just left. Like someone just left, left immediately. And okay. Yeah. It's always weird. Always. <laughs> it's like the Myers house. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. It's a it's a it's a two story house, but it looks like a one story. If you get mm. what I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Like it's shaped as yeah. a. Yeah. So what happens when you go inside the house? So from what I can gather, I contacted Tony this week and asked him like, Hey, do you remember that what we did that day and yada yada and like he tried to find some like backstories from like old locals from the from the town. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he got to me and he told me like, Yeah, I actually looked into it like years ago. And he told me that um back before even me and him were even born that there was this lady that lived there. She was a single mother to a uh, special kid. Mm-hmm. Okay. And sh- the kid didn't go to any public school, and, like, it was homeschooled. So the legend... And with that, we would... There was a little, like, upstairs. Like, the the way the house is laid out is the whole upstairs is just one big room. So it's like a loft. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. And with that is, like, kind of like a little mini classroom. Okay. okay. Which we saw... Okay. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Ugh. It gets better. This is a horror story in the making. <laughs> yeah. We have dibs. So when me and Tony went there and Regis went there when we were 12, we got when we part. went up there, <laughs> up to the, when we went up to the classroom layout of the house, it looked like there was names scratched on the board, which to us, we were being young and being like, oh, that's creepy, but that could have just been like some bunch of kids. teenagers yeah. that came right, in right. and did that to make it. But the the legend is that if you go in there and write your name on the chalkboard, supposedly the little girl spirit, I guess, would scratch your name on the chalkboard. So wait, you you would write your name on the chalkboard? Yeah. Like you have to write your name, and yeah. then she would scratch your name. Okay, so like she would write it like. You're kind I of teacher. Wondered. I thought I thought like once you entered the house, she would obligate you to like like she would just obligate your name on the chalkboard and then like come back. No, and like you would you write your name your on there, and right below it would be like in scratchy, like in her like not with a chalk or anything, but scratches. Oh, of that's your name. Okay, so so you went in and you saw this, but you didn't write your name. You no. guys just walked around and left. Yeah, because we got kicked right, out. Road trip. <laughs> okay, I mean that's pretty if it's cool. still there. Is it still there? Or no? I have did no you idea. not say? Okay. No, he did well, not say. See, I, like I can ask him. I like that because that was not something that you heard of. You like lived that's in. That's like, yeah, cool. that's real life. Yeah, that's cool exactly. Stuff. That's even cool. Well, so even as a child, like I would again from my babysitter, from locals in the town, her mom like would tell me stories like of them being children going into the house. Right. That's pretty crazy. Because so it's, it's like, like right a, next door. It's yeah. like a weird Poconos tradition to go into this house. Mm-hmm. Like that's cool. That's cool though. Like again to the whole topic of urban legends like it could be a small town yeah. legend that like it's There's just legends an, everywhere oh yeah. this is uh, technically i mean like really let's look at it it's just an old house that people lived in and it's just still there it, it's older so people are like well this is creepy you know what really creeps me out about places like that it's like almost like in movies depicted a lot it's like places that are almost like stuck in limbo yeah, like yeah, you know what I mean, I like you. stuck in its like own no one's gonna buy of. that house, but it's gonna stay in there it's forever because like, no yeah. one wants it to touch it. Right. right. Yeah, yeah and so it's, it's like, like it's like you know things like that where you would go and you would walk around the side of the house or something, mm-hmm. and you would come back, and then it's the doors open yeah. magically. Yeah. It's kind of like okay, like like movies like I don't know, you, you get trapped somewhere or something. Yeah. Like you see That's those actually, people like get trapped. Like not to like talk about another one, but you know, back in Ocala where I lived. Um, I lived there, there too, dude. Yeah, you did live there. After I, I, I forgot you lived there, man. I'm sorry. That's where we met. My Shouts man. out to Austin. We Williams. met there, and then then he moved here, uh, and then I moved here, and now we're meeting again. Yeah, look or, at this. or hanging out. We're, we're destined to be in each other's paths. That's right. But okay, so um, so where I, we lived in Ocala, it was in the off the off the downtown square area, mm-hmm. and right next to our house was this old abandoned white house. Yeah. It kind of had the Amityville horror concept going on yep. to it. But there was a lot of like legends. Like the ghost tour in Ocala would stop there. Yeah, yeah. And talk about it. Because I guess there's like a stuff. story behind like <laughs> someone, like uh, there was a phone call placed inside the house to 911, but like the house is completely locked up. Like we tried so hard to get into that house. Mm-hmm. And um, 
but like there's like stories like that where like this is obviously just an old abandoned house in the historic district but like there's that there's like stories, mythology yeah. coming up behind it. and also like I don't know if you ever know this but in the old house in Ocala there was like an actual like wine cellar trap door in your the house in, yeah where oh, we first wow, met wow wow there was actually like a trap door those houses used to be connected oh shit that's so, so dope yeah I would pictures if that's we if I, we go to Ocala I'll take pictures and post it on our, uh, our website and on our Twitter feed <laughs> because like the house is creepy and if I can get inside the house and take pictures of the actual wine cellar you'd be like yeah that shit's haunted well see that's what now <laughs> it makes sense because when I used to go to those parties I used to think I would just get wasted but I think I was getting haunted, so I was just walking around like, Whoa, like. Oh yeah, was, no, like yeah. So you, I wasn't even getting drunk. If you, I was talked, just if you were house, to talk yeah. to any of the old roommates, like me, Eric, Taylor, Tori, like in uh, CC, like yeah. dude, definitely shit went on. CC lives here now too. Yeah, that's funny. But um, but yeah, dude, urban and you know, please, uh, please hit us up with your urban legends. Damn it, Patrick. excuse Patrick. <laughs> um, so, yeah. um. Like I said, excuse Patrick, he had a, a minor flatulence from the mouth, but that's not a big deal. But um, like I was saying, if you have like urban legends that you'd like to share, like maybe you're from your your, your small town in that you know not something that maybe none of us would actually hear because, like around in Orlando, we know the Casadega, like. Yeah. Stories and we all, all driven to Casadega, but I would love to hear about like northern uh, Florida, you know, adventure outside of Florida, anywhere, urban anywhere. Let's go to Casadega. Well, tonight. Speaking of uh, no, urban tonight. legends, no, God. and a, oh, mov- shit. a movie that I think, well, I I actually really love it, mm-hmm. the Blair Witch Project, the because first, the original, the original. Yeah, because okay, let's make that all, stance. We've all just seen the new 2016 Blair Witch. Yep, we'll, we'll, talk, get, we'll yeah, get to that later. We'll get there, but since we're doing that, I think we should pay great respect to oh, a uh, of course great movie called the Blair Witch Project. Oh yes, yes. for I sure. Agree. Um, I mean. First off, first off, I think that's what this episode should be about because you could talk for a long time about this great movie. Oh mm-hmm. no, I could talk for hours. <clears throat> I, yeah. I remember watching the Blair Witch Project at home. Yep, and was yep. just like, I know this is bad, but I don't care. Like, I love this. You know, this the movie's bad, or that it's bad that you're by yourself. No, like I mean, like when we look at the movie, the movie's bad. Like overall, but it's, it's genius. But it's genius. That's, exactly. That's what I. It's a yeah. great movie. Um, but you know. What are you trying to go with with this man? What I mean, are you trying to go with I'm your just, uh, I mean, I'm just, tributes? Okay, so what I'm just trying to say is we all, because, I mean, me, Patrick, and Angel, we all went together mm-hmm. to see the new one. Okay, uh, yeah. What, like last week, we just saw mm-hmm. the Blair Witch. Um, but we can't talk about that one without talking about the original. Exactly. Yeah, of course. Um, so the original, I mean, I think we should all, first off... Um, Given our two cents in yeah, what we thought about the movie. Yeah, put our two cents in it, yeah. And then we can talk about the, the new one. But, um, yeah. I mean... I think what's sick about it is I think either both the directors or just one of them graduated from UCF literally really? two, two miles from this house that we're sitting in right now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Really? Yep, from Orlando, Florida. That is awesome. Pretty I did sick. not know that. Yep. Uh, so went to UCF right down the road. So I think that's really cool. And I think it's the, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the first found footage handheld camera movie. It, it's, horror it's, movie. it's not the first. Not the first. Not the there first. There was one before. It was just not... That just, big of a movie, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, and then we have a uh, Cannibal Holocaust, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but, but no, but definitely the biggest. The, the Blair Witch Project did have gave a formula to upcoming found. Footage oh my god! Films. How many found footage films are, are just like it? Literally they're, they're, four a year or something. Oh, yeah, no, not to mention but, the ones that aren't in and, theaters. And, yeah, and you had Blair Witch Project to thank for that because it yeah. set oh the stepping stone for oh, something yeah. well, Blair, different. Blair Witch Project did it right because mm-hmm. there was not one time I was watching that movie where I got sick. There's watching. no script for that. Yeah, movie. yeah. yeah. Like, you, you know, know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't know if you get, like. There's no script in that movie. Oh yeah, no. yeah. Like for those of you who don't know, like. I've watched the, the directors the scenes, yeah. gave them a 35 page pamphlet of the Blair Witch mythology and they believed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like the only scripted part is when uh, Heather, the character Heather, yeah. is it's not uh, <laughs> when she's talking to the camera. When she's talking to the camera crying. She wrote mm-hmm. that for herself. Right. That's the only scripted piece in that mm-hmm. entire movie. Well, yeah, yeah, I've watched the behind the scenes. There's like a, I think on YouTube, there's a really good behind the scenes, like. I don't know if you'd call it a documentary, but just like they they speak about, oh, I think it was like the like the twenty year anniversary or ten mm-hmm. year anniversary. They speak mm-hmm. on it, um, and they they talk about how, like you said, there was no script. They would give them ideas, like they're sitting here, and they'd be like, okay, like 
um, get ready to like react maybe and like that's all they gave them oh, yeah. or like the the scene where they wake up and there's piles of rocks around mm-hmm. their tent yeah these actors and the directors they stayed in the woods they literally stayed in the woods and they would be trying to sleep and they gave them these cameras and they would make noise in the woods and they would react to that and they woke up uh like from their tent no directors could be found no no crew was found besides them and they woke up to piles of rocks in the woods well, that's, and there was and actually they had a crew and that's member re, that's real reactions though yeah. i love that and they had a, they had a crew member out like what like 6 or 7 miles from where they were camped out at and he was talking well, on the yeah because that's another like cuz i have the trivia pulled up because there's so much like cool trivia that like, i honestly just started knowing about like yeah. okay. too, it's blair witch project has some of the best trivia oh, um, yeah, it's insane how they made dude, it dude so after the first 13 minutes in this movie, it's just the three of them. There's no one else out there. Mm-hmm. They literally just, they that's why like when they filmed a scene with that like 16 millimeter camera, it was so bad because they they had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, they just holding this camera. So like, and like what he was bringing up was like the directors would be like at the you know their campsite mm-hmm. and like all the filming locations were preset, but like it was just those three people walking in the woods. That's yeah. like so alone. Sick. That is so and they awesome. were staying there at night by themselves. Right, right. So like they be- like to add to the fact that they believed that this legend was real. <laughs> all right, first off, and they're staying in these woods that are supposedly haunted Those by this Those are real witch. scared reactions. No, and I'm getting to that like okay, so in the scene of the move in the in the Blair Witch project where they're sleeping in the tent. This is like maybe the second I think it's the second night. So they're already freaked out because of the noises that's already happening. Right. Um the tent shakes violently, right? Mhm. That's actually the directors doing that, like made up, like improv. Right. The reactions of them running out of that tent screaming were real. They mm. actually thought something was attacking the tent. And that is so awesome, dude. That's so unethical. Like we can talk about eth- like a code yeah. of ethics. Yeah. Like they <laughs> fucked those people up so made, hard. It made well, one putts. of the biggest movies. Yeah, and the scene also the scene where we were supposed to see the uh, witch. The witch that was actually at that scene. The yeah. camera guy was supposed to pan left. But he was so scared. Yeah, it was the scene where to. you see Heather running, and she's like, "What the fuck is that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, yeah. but they never showed. They it. never showed it. He but they were supposed to, to show. He forgot to pan, and they didn't yeah. have enough money to go back and refilm that. And they didn't want to make <laughs> it so awesome. Deep. Yeah. Speaking, and, speaking of money, real quick, for a while that was, I think, I don't know what beat it. I think maybe Paranormal Activity might have. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the most profitable film of all time, because the budget was. They, it was so small. It only cost them so much to make it, mm-hmm. and it made millions of dollars. And it was so for a long time, like at least like ten to fifteen years, it made more profit than any other movie because, yeah. like you know, obviously movies like giant movies like Titanic and mm-hmm. stuff, of course, yeah, made more money, but it cost them so much. Yeah. So for money in their pocket, like we spent this much, and they got this much back, they like just just racked up the money plus you gotta talk about the marketing for the movie marketing they, was the most be- best marketing for any they movie came, I've ever heard of they came the marketing was strictly on one online everyone believed too. believed that this was a real that this really happened yeah two that it was on the internet where the internet was fairly Fresh, new yeah and the only people yeah. that were on it were people like you and I and you know yeah younger crowd and on the website they had like a whole like diary section of they stuff said, that Heather, Heather was writing as they were going they had, through. Yeah, they had the that. They and had stuff. they had pictures of each one like missing. If you yeah. have any information on these people, and it was obviously and just the actors. Send, they actually had to take those down. Yeah, like That's because so cool, everyone though. kept sending letters to like the parents, like, "Oh, yeah. we're so sorry for your missing child and stuff like that." Yeah, yeah, no, it's the actual the mom of Heather because mm-hmm. they're all played by the real names, like the yeah. actual real yeah. names in life are, is Heather and. So like she was actually receiving like sympathy cards like we're so sorry that your daughter yeah, that's, is lost or how, dead. If you, how like the like how, ethics dude? How, I'm gen- you, but ethics. how genius is that that they they mm-hmm. tricked everyone? They were like this dude, movie is real and that's why people were that's why people were scared. That dude, mo- people movie, dude. drove to that town. Yeah, that's so sick. In search for like the Blair Witch. I remember seeing the art cover on Blockbusters when I first saw it. Her little her face. Yeah, yeah. it was so intriguing. Yeah. Well. Do we guys want to get to reviewing the... Oh, no. Oh. We are oh, still talking about dude, this amazing ma- movie, dude, Angel. you don't understand. Blair Witch Project. I don't know why it wasn't on my list on the first episode. Yeah, same here. Like, I wa- like Issa, my fiance, she's seen it, but in part. So I made her watch the oh whole God. thing. I, I know. Yeah, I know. come on now. Um, you better teach her right now. She, dude, she <laughs> does some pretty bomb horror movies better than I do. But yeah, like, that's good. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Did she enjoy it? Oh, she loved it. Shouts out. Yeah, mm-hmm. she freaking loved it. Shouts the movie. out. Um, 
Do you have anything to add to the movie? Like, what did you take from have it? Have you like, even seen it, Angel? Dude, of course, man. <laughs> okay, just making I was, sure. I was yeah. more conscious than you were. Oh, damn. I'm talking about we're Blair talking about the Project. Blair Witch Project. Not the Blair oh, wait, wait, wait. I was just kidding. I was just... Well, we'll, Welcome we'll to get, the get to that later, Angel. but... Um, <laughs> again, again. Honestly, honestly, Blair Witch, like... I don't know. Those, those sounds like they were making over the intercom, basically. Like, they were really creepy. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, they were just isolated. They were, like, six, seven miles out. Yeah, exactly. And, like, you know, you hear that I'd echoing. I'd be afraid, too, man. Like, Dude, I feel like we need to take a trip into the woods. That's all I'm saying. It's not. Uh, y'all can go like, ahead. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, like, it just sounded like the Blair Witch was a lot larger than an actual human form well, would be. that is an excellent tie over to the movie. Yes, exactly. Segway. Exactly. Exactly. It gives, it gives Wait, character. Yeah. I do want to say one more thing, though. Go ahead. Speaking about how the directors, uh, you know, they weren't around, the actors. Um, so imagine how scary this must be. I saw this on the video I was watching. So Heather had the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was searching for uh, which one of the guys was it? I think it was uh, the Josh, first one to Josh? go missing is Josh. Okay, Josh. so Michael. She was looking for him in the house, right? Okay, yes, it's uh, Michael. Right, right. So she was looking for Michael in the house. Patrick, stop burping, especially when I'm talking. I tried to do um, it the mic. <laughs> Yeah, at least so say like, excuse me. So yeah. basically, from what they said is that she had like a walkie-talkie or earpiece or something, mm-hmm. and all she heard was, you know, go west or whatever, and. Uh, go into the house. That's all they heard. She ne- she didn't see a house at first. She didn't know what they were talking about. She just heard go into the house. So she's in the woods by herself because she's the only actor in yeah. the in the middle of the night in these woods, and she runs up on that scary ass looking house. And her directions are go in. That's that's all she had. So she's in there like Michael. Like when she's screaming, she's looking. It's for him sincere. And she's yeah. terrified, dude. And then so when when you see all that going on, like she is generally afraid, generally screaming. And then at the end, when he's when, standing there, yeah, when he's standing there, I know we all pissed ourselves. But that, like when dude, the, when the camera goes down, one of the directors or one of the crew members was standing there waiting for her and tackled her full speed, <laughs> like not oh, tackled shit. her down. And her screams were so genuine. They said like she was. She got up and cried for like ten minutes. Like dude, the camera the fell fuck? over and like, dude, I'm yeah, telling so you. So she gets tackled in the pitch dark and is just when you hear the screams with yeah. the camera, she's screaming her lungs out. Dude, and, and then they were just like, oh, it's a wrap. Good job, guys, dude, and just got I, up. Like I feel like this hell? movie could literally be like a topic for an ethics class because like mm-hmm. what this is what not to do in a horror. Movie. What they put yeah. them through. Oh, but it's like what to do, dude. In a horror to movie. add to that like factor of like fucking with them, they didn't. They fed them less every day. To keep up the discourse, yeah, yep. mm-hmm. like they fed them less they fed food them to less. keep them angry at each other. But like you know, I can we can all agree that we fucking love the Blair Witch Project and oh, yeah. like major major shouts out to the directors Daniel uh, Mayrick and Eduardo Sanchez. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. thank you. Um. Okay, I like to ask this question just because it, it's kind of hard to answer sometimes. Okay, is this one of your dope ass questions? This is not one of my dope ass questions yet. Okay. The segment has not come. This is just a normal question. Okay. okay. Uh. One out of ten. What do you guys give? Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch Project. The original. Ten. You give ten. it a ten. I give it a ten. That's I'm a, sorry, but that's like, up there. Mm-hmm. Even though like it's gotten like it's got le- lesser uh, percentage on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, like I've never been so terrified of a movie before, and actually been like chilled to watch it. So the oh yeah the the one thing you can't like all right so. We obviously just talked about how genius mm-hmm. it was, the way they treated the actors, the way they marketed it. So if you take that aside and you didn't know that and it was just a pure pure movie, start to finish, you didn't know how genius it was, would you still give it a 10? Because like I think well, that... Oh, I mean, yeah, because even when I first saw it, I loved it. Yeah. Okay. Without even... Okay. Like when I was a kid and I watched it, I, I knew nothing because right. I mean, like, because the internet was just like... Yeah. I, mm. I had AOL. Like I wasn't going on it. Right. You know, well, and, even when I was a kid, like I didn't... I wasn't no, like, on the internet. I, was I wasn't. Just, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I yeah. watched it and I was like terrified. I was like, yeah, Holy I just, shit. I treated it like a regular horror movie. Like, yeah, guaranteed nothing, I guess, really like supernatural did happen mm-hmm. in the movie. Like, right. really, if you watch it, like nothing, nothing, even, <laughs> nothing yeah. really does happen, but you see like these people go through hell. What, yeah. well, what yeah. do and you that's horror, and that's horrifying. What do you yeah. give it, Patrick? I give it, um, I'll give it a, 
I'll give it a nine. All right, nine. cool. Damn. Yeah, oh, Angel. Angel. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a nine point seven. Okay, oh, nine point seven. Yeah. Yeah. What a I mean, weird number, but all right. It's, it's a weird number, but there's like it's a weird it's, movie. It's a weird <laughs> movie. <laughs> it's a weird movie. Yeah, it is. I'll, I'll, but it's I'll, like I I don't know. I like to like um, like immerse myself in mm-hmm. in movies like their universe at least and try to get the gist and like that's how I get my full experience for movies. It's just like putting myself yeah. in that position or just yeah. listening to like sounds people make. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. How they say. things. Things. I didn't want to leave my house a week when I first saw that movie, and I lived in the middle of the woods in Pennsylvania. You know, <laughs> actually, funny story about that too. When that movie first came out, um, my mom was was uh, dating one of her ex boyfriends, and uh, he lived with us at the time. Uh, we were taking a trip out to Ocala, of and of Ocala, of yeah. Ocala. And um, he he told me at like like horror story in the car on the way there. We were on the interstate. There's and, white people there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and witches in the woods. <laughs> yeah, he, he basically told me we were going by Silver Springs, and like he was telling me, he's like, yeah, like Blair Witch was filmed down the woods in Ocala. Oh, like, oh, he got gotcha. you. Uh, he got the wrong film, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was thinking Jeepers Creepers in Danilo, Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but either way, both of those movies terrified yeah. me as a kid. Yeah. So um, Angel, I mean I'm Austin. Aust- I'm sorry, I'm Austin. Sorry. Um, he did that again. I did I it again. I was gonna say it's the second time. <laughs> One sorry. more thing again before I read it because I really like this movie. When you see the whole uh, when they walk out of the tent in that one scene um, mm-hmm. in the morning and they see like the 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 wooden figures, the wooden figures. Okay, that shit is so eerie. Dude, like, ima- I, could you imagine being in the woods and camping and just like opening your tent and just seeing like things dude, that that's my things next that too. things that were not there last night are there now? are now everywhere and you're like what the hell just happened like that is so that gives you that gives me chills every time this guy can we do a whole podcast of us camping dude I, i'm down i if, told you, you guys if the go. list if the listeners would like love to see us go camping in the middle of the woods we'll do it hell yeah i give blair witch hit us up hit 8. us up 8.5 excellent 8. and 5? speaking of yeah, okay right, cool. so speaking of blair witch projects we all went and saw the blair witch the sequel. Yeah. Not together, but yes. But well, not three, together. Three of us together. Three of us together. So. Mike. Mike was Spoiler there free. Yeah, he was. Spoiler free. Right now. We will be doing a spoiled episode come soon. Yeah. Spoiled free discussion. All right. Who wants to start it off? Honest <laughs> thoughts. I know. Austin. Austin, go first. I just. Austin sent a, a tweet thought. out today with the him flicking off the movie poster. So that's that's a. A range of his thoughts. Check my Twitter at O S T Y N W I L L I A M S Austin Williams. I'm flicking off Shameless the Blair Witch poster. Okay. Um <laughs> All right. So here here's my here's my story about the Blair Witch. I'm at a bar. I'm drinking heavily. <laughs> doing my how you say what's that? Oh yeah, my, my, thing. my, my thing. That's his right. thing. Uh Patrick and Angel show up. I'm with my girlfriend, we're all hanging out and they're like, Oh, we're gonna see the Blair Witch. I'm like Nah, and then like I was like I don't know if I'm gonna see it right now, and then like an hour went by and I got like a couple more whiskey drinks in me. I'm like, hell yeah! <laughs> <I'm-> <laughs> like, I guess, like I guess I can't afford it now, so I go to see it. Uh, I was super stoked, and then like 20 minutes went by, and I was like, damn, flatline. So, yeah, flatline. And then um, I end up going to the the movie theater bathroom to throw up because I'm now on like my third beer in the theaters. Uh. <laughs> So I missed a little bit of it, I would say, because I had to use the bathroom. But um, I'm going to say I, I was honestly not too happy with the film. Yeah. Uh, I, I second that. I, I was kind of confusing. Okay, well, yeah, it, it was a little confusing, a little, like, I'm so tired of handheld, handheld camera found footage films that I know this is supposed to be, like, the next Blair Witch Project, but I'm just, like, wasn't happy with it, wasn't happy with the acting, wasn't happy with... The storyline, I'll, I'll give it the storyline was a good idea. Like, let me go try to find, was it my sister or my brother? It is actually the brother of Heather. Yeah, okay, yeah. so let me go find my sister 20 years later. Like, That's, that bitch is dead. That, yeah, Dude. 20 years. Yeah, that, that 20, she's like, 40, why were you waiting so long? Yeah, man. she's going to be 47 young, and boring dude. if you do find her. So well, like, what no, the well, hell? you think about like, No, he, pres- they all presume she was dead. Like, yeah. He, uh, yeah, yeah. He was, he, he had closure. Like, they, they looked for his daughter. He was a kid. I mean, they looked right. for his sister, and then you know, eventually they was like, "Well, you know, what? we can't find her. She she's presumed dead because we can't find her." But then you know, he gets this footage that kind of shows his sister. Right. So I mean, you get that like spark, like, "Oh shit!" Like she could possibly still be alive. I mean, that, but that's what I give it. I give it like it's that kind of was the best part. Is that like, yeah. oh, it's some like it's a blood, it's like bloodline. Like, oh, yeah. I'm going no, out almost was, like for revenge. Like we're gonna find it, but it's yeah. like. Ugh. 
Uh, I I just honestly I don't know. You I think I think the Blair Witch Project should have been left alone. It should have been yeah, like we're not one do, movie. We yeah. found this footage. This is crazy. Period. That's it. And we're, they, these spinoffs always they always are not as good. No, we won't even talk about Book of Shadows. Mm. Mm. All right, Patrick. You, what just you mentioned it. it. I'm sorry, and Patrick. Now I'm mad. <laughs> what do you have to say about it, Patrick? Honestly, it it was a big disappointment for me. I had high expectations for this movie, especially. The guy who directed it, like he directed the guest, he directed uh, a short in VHS. He even did a short, I think, in ABC's of Death. Like I think so, yeah. Yeah, like he done a lot of good stuff. In, and then he and then he, he comes out with this, and it's like every cutscene's like a scare, like a yeah, jump scare. I've actually liked his other work. And yeah, it's like, like yeah. me too. That's why and, I was like, okay, this has some promise to it. So, but yeah, he like here here a studio is giving you a night like. A, a property they, that is like a big name, a lot of money. Yeah, and he still didn't deliver what yeah. I was expecting out of him. I yeah. know, yeah. Angel. I got a few creepy vibes from that movie. Honestly, like I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, but that like remember no spoilers. I know. Yeah, um, this is not, not much yet. of a spoiler though, but you will be seeing what the Blair Witch looks like in the film. No, no, you, yeah. you will. And that was a big disappointment for me too. And yeah, it's, it's, but I don't know because because like the idea of what she really looks like is. Still kind of mysterious because we honestly don't do, know what she looks like. Right. So. Yeah, and even when you do, yeah, see but we her, have an idea, and it's. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not gonna mention what she looks like. So, but I'll do it. Thumbs up. Don't do thumbs it. down. <laughs> well, middle well, Mike, let, let me hear you say what you had to say. Oh no, 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 no. We're gonna. I just want to know if Angel okay, likes it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I got mixed feelings, man. He's got, he's right. I'm he's torn. A, he's a he's shocker, bro. I'm torn between, but I would say I'm inching more towards liking it. I just didn't appreciate how it ended. All right, so Angel's on my side because I'll be the first one to admit that I actually enjoyed the Blair Witch sequel. Oh, uh, they're all flicking me off right now in the studio. It's all okay, of us. Fuck you. but I mean, yes, I'll agree that it was cheesy in some aspects, but like, I still got terrified in the theater. I went and saw it by myself. It was me. Losing. No, 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 because no. <laughs> it worked. But I mean, literally, when I went to the theater, it was me and two other girls in the entire theater. Well, oh, wow. so like that added that factor to it. To add one thing, Austin just called you a loser because you called him a loser in the last review. Sorry, dude. That's a loser. <laughs> Barnacle. I'm sorry, dude. Right, but like, hoopla. But like, <laughs> um, so like seeing it by yourself, practically almost alone, kind of mm-hmm. amplifies that uh, the environment that they create in the movie. Yeah. yeah. And there was a lot of scenes in the movie that kind of just freaked me out. And that's closer towards the ending than anything. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like oh, when yeah. I went to go see Tusk, and I saw it all by myself. Yeah, but Tusk was satirical. Like, it was meant to be funny. Yeah. And this was meant <laughs> to be scary. True. And it I did, laughed and it didn't at work. this movie. And yeah, and it didn't work. So. <laughs> no, there was parts that I laughed at. So, yeah. I mean, like, definitely it has, it is nothing compared to the original Bla- uh, Blair Witch Project. Right. It's it can't touch it. But I will say the, that like the drone the drone. I d- hold on, we'll get to that uh, in spoilers. It's, uh. it's a drone, so I mean it's not a huge spoiler. You don't know. Yeah. Right, yeah. But um True. Um cool concept. No, yeah, it's no, not. They're trying it's to make, more it, modernized. Trying to make nope. it new yeah, modern. But nope. what I, what I'm trying to get at is it's a good movie. It's something someone can go in the average day non horror junkie is gonna go and watch and be like, Oh, I got scared, I like that. That was a good movie. Right. I mean, like, I don't, that was a good movie. Yeah. But for us, since we <laughs> love movies and we have high expectations, we love to look at movies, we we looked at it and we're like, No, th- this could have been more. And well, I agree with yeah. what you're saying. Right. It could have been better, it could have been well written uh, better mm-hmm. written and things like that sound effects there's an earthquake in the Ooh. studio well I got, all right so i, wanna, I do want to say <laughs> is this. it her i do want to say this like i'm not going to say it's a terrible movie no if it had a different name if it wasn't a part of the blair witch and it was just some like we're in the woods trying to find something like i would be like to the woods eh. with meryl street <laughs> no well, but i'm just saying like if it if, if it wasn't because I, I went into <laughs> i just killed patrick i'm sorry i'm sorry you austin, broke him man. austin continue what i thought. was saying patrick god I'm sorry, um, get a grip of yourself. He said something really fucking funny, all right? <laughs> um, like, the, the... What am I trying to say? Gambanzo. Like, because the Blair Witch Project is like, that's what I, like, that's what I wanted. I'm like, wow, yeah. it's going to be a new, modernized, like, this is going to be sick. And because of that, it let me down because I like the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, exactly. So, if, like I said, if this was, like, its own story, a little bit different, name something different, we're going into the woods to find someone who's missing and stuff starts fucking with us, like, I would have been like, wow, this is way better. But I think I mm-hmm. went in being like, 
oh my god this is gonna be great so i'm not gonna say it's a terrible movie i recommend watching, everyone to watch definitely it definitely go and watch watch it every horror movie it. ever because there's only movies out there yeah uh well yeah i mean that's what, what i else? mean there's more movies out there what like action yes. maybe there's no such thing as a comedy movie because those are all terrible now yeah. hey Whoa. except for hey, tyler Patch. perry movies Mm-hmm. What did you just say? Okay, well, oh, okay. Uh oh, I'm going ahead and executive decision. Like my friend shutting right it down. Shutting it down. <laughs> Shut it shutting down. it down. All right. So, all right. So yeah, go see the movie. It's it's okay. It's not. You're not gonna cry. You're not gonna hate it. But Patrick hates it. And I will you know, say it did have a, an awesome marketing. It was called the Woods until uh, Comic Con this year. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and when they yeah, announced they just, it and gave it the trailer and then they were like, Blair Oh Witch. shit, a Blair Witch movie. But, but, oh until, but before that, this. but before that, it was called the woods or something like that. Yeah. That's cool. So um, yeah, wait. Um, so I think I know what time it is. <gasps> it's time for my dope ass questions of the day. Austin's dope ass questions. questions. <laughs> These questions are dope. Sweet. Okay, so Shit. I got hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. My, keep talking. Uh, keep talking. Dope ass questions of the day. Can oh wow. What is that dope? What is that dope? Ass? I said my dope ass questions of the day. Say what? Oh, wow. did he pick it up? There it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Say what? Okay, so, so I, I got three of them today. Oh, damn. I got three of them. <clears throat> What's your first one? Hit us with it. Mm-mm. Actually, you, tell us your third one. Are you upset that we didn't see any <laughs> snot in this film? Yes. I'm actually... I'm not going to lie. I'm, <laughs> I'm upset. Now... Oh. No, you know what? Now now, now I'm pissed. Now... No, I, I wanted to see some snot. Yeah, I wanted where, to see Liz... Snot? I wanted to see Liz cry. Like, yeah. Why? She, did, why? Yeah, what? We had... It was a parallel, like... That her staying outside that ho- house was a parallel to Heather. Heather, outside the house. Exactly. Alone. So I kind of wanted to see. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. I, I wanted love the that snot concept. Like, I love yeah. the snot. Like you're petrified. Like yeah. You where's you, the snot? You're crying. Your your friends are gone. You're all alone in the woods, and you can't get out. And something's exactly. stalking you. Yeah. Yeah. Stalking. Okay. Well, well Mike, you may think that movie was scary, but it's not. Um. Okay. So, all right. Oh, my to, God. He made a you, dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you. Thanks, all right. Dad. All right. Next dope-ass question. Um, all right. What do you think that they should have, like... Okay. What did they bring back or touch on? Like, what did they bring back from the Blair Witch Project that you enjoyed? Like, what were you like, oh, that's cool. Blair Witch Project ooh, definitely talked about... Ooh, or, you know ooh, what I'm saying? I have one. Without spoiling go, too much. Go. Without spoiling too much. It's not a huge spoiler because if you watch Blair Witch Project and you know what it's about, the wooden figures are a huge thing, yeah. with, this, thing. with this movie. Oh, yeah. And I think I feel like what they did with those wooden figures in that scene that I won't describe mm-hmm. was fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. that like that if they cool. gotten any if they gotten anything right, it was that scene. Mm-hmm. Like that scene, like I was like, Holy shit, they just made this like a hundred times scarier. Yeah, creepy as hell. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Angel? Yeah, what do you, what I do you can't wait to talk about parts. that scene. Um Bringing it back, uh, the like the film clips when he's looking on YouTube, and he's yeah, yeah. Wow. you do see clips from Blair Witch mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. Um, what he sees, I think they really uh, visualize it for you, like when you watch the movie, because eventually you see the witch. Yeah, but I mean, Spoiler. I don't know because I mean, seeing that film clip, like I hadn't seen the Blair Witch Project in in. in quite a while so mm-hmm. um after seeing that scene like you know you see her in that scene and it like it's, helps it's you out of, like... yeah and it's like it's creepy though because i mean it pans so it's like a mirror and she mm. sees it behind yeah her. yeah so right. it's like that's that's so eerie yeah right it's right. like okay i don't want to look behind me but there's a mirror right there and I, yeah she's right there behind right. me. i see Ooh. what she looks like what are you gonna do about it it's like <laughs> no all right. What about you, Patrick? What do you What did you like that they like touched on or brought back? Uh, exploring the house a little more. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. It a lot. showed a lot more of the house. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So that's not spoiling. Mm-hmm. No. That's no. Good. No. Yeah. You, we see the house at the end. It's even a longer scene, it's, and you see way more it's, rooms it's way and way. More. Yeah. She it's walks. Way, she yeah. walks through it for like two whole minutes. No. Like, yeah. Well, we'll get into that spoiler yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And it's like it's like when we labeled that that scene as a parallel to when Heather was in the first movie. Like you'll see exactly what we mean by parallel. Oh, yeah. No, you will. Blair Witch. Oh yes. And what's <laughs> dude, that sounded nice? That cool. And what was that? The, uh, the your, what's your last question? All right, man? I got one more question. It's pretty similar, but what did they like? What did the Blair Witch not do that you would have liked to see 
that that could have made the movie a lot better either compared to the first one or they could have brought it from the first one like okay. w- what didn't they touch on that could have made it right. like if they would have done this one thing this movie would have been way better Patrick okay so this is not spoilers or anything but there's a scene where they set up a camera on top of a, a tree mm-hmm. and it's like a still shot of their campsite all, all the, ca- the campsite yeah I thought I was gonna get more of that and it was gonna have like this creepy like like how you're gonna Par- see what's going on. Yeah, yeah I know exactly. Kind of like saying. how Paranormal did with the the camera in front of the bed, right? Type yeah. of thing. So you thought you're gonna see some shit going on at night that mm-hmm. was like, but yeah, right, right. Like not showing, obviously not showing the Blair Witch, but showing some like creepy shit happening. They could have touched them. on that a lot better, made that yeah. way more scary. Oh yeah, no, yeah, th- yeah. that that was definitely lack. Like definitely would have been cool to see. Like okay, so he said like the battery was running out. Like it wasn't like a a major camera. Like it it was gonna be there, and then once the batteries died, it was gonna be over with. Right, right. right. Have it cut out to where, like, okay, so nothing's there. It cuts out, and then it comes back, and then you just see all the, the right, figures they there. They could have done something cool. Yeah, 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 something I, really I, fucking I, creepy. I agree with that. No, yeah. Uh, for me, I, I honestly, I want more story with the stones. I understand, mm-hmm. like, they, they represent the gravestones, mm-hmm. yeah. like, the burial sites of the children that the witch takes. Right. But, like, I felt like we didn't get enough of that in the first one. Like, really, what's the backstory? Like, mm-hmm. why are they... You know why are they like the ovalish, uh, uh, like shapes? smooth, like They're smooth, yeah, yeah real like, like river wide. stones. Like, I mean, I know I'm asking for too much, and maybe there should be a book about it, but that I can read <laughs> and get more detail. But like, why are they set up in that position? Why is it so bad to knock them over? Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like I wish I wish I could have got that, but yeah, right, right. That's just can I, that's just wishful thinking. I also yeah. want to add another thing. Uh, I wanted more footage from the other two people that tagged along. <gasps> oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh. We'll talk about it later. Oh yeah, yeah that's, spoilers. Yeah. But that, I, I was thinking I about the whole time. I'm like, agree. why is this not like the main thing that's happening? Like, exactly. Yeah. No, I agree. And Angel. Angel. I like. What do you think the they should have touched on more? Oof. Uh, man. Honestly, I, I, I was just, I had it on the top of my head for a second. Um, well, let's hope not. But mm. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to like put this into words. Really, like. They, I feel like they were trying too hard with 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 their scenes. Like like, I don't know. It, like the found footage film. Like in my opinion, th- there's there comes a limit, like a borderline, to where it's a good found footage film that's mm-hmm. believable. But then is there's like comes a point to where it's not so good. You can tell that it's you know like not. It's trying too hard. Basically, there's a borderline between it. I yeah, feel that. I, I feel, feel that. Like. No, I, I agree with that. It, yeah, you're right. It does get to the point where it's like all right, this is this is just not believable anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. First off, this I, I camera think, wouldn't have survived. I think Blair Witch grazes that border. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it, it there's kind of some scenes where I watch it and I cringe a little bit because I thought it was so corny. But I mean I feel like that. All right. Well, I guess you're saying. I'm going to say, I want to uh, mention, I think that they, uh, I don't know. I love that they did more with the house. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I thought I, that. I love that. I really thought that was cool. And when, it was all like, it was all like uh, wet and rainy and all that stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool that they made it like really like, you know, like the, there was like rain dripping and like, yeah. really, it was just, I don't know. It's like, it made it more scary. It made it look like it stunk like shit in there. It made it like, like, I don't want to yeah. be in that place. And you I know what that I cool. want to know is that that's the same house. It, like, no, I don't like, think. There's there's no like from, like the, from the original. Probably not. There's no way, dude. It could uh, be. Though. I don't know. I don't because okay because in the original film it didn't look that big. But it, no, that dude, that, big, that building was big. I'm gonna have to like. do some research if that's actually like a set build or if that's a, if that's a real place. Mm-hmm. If that's a real. I'm going there. I don't care. Oh, uh, I'm going. Mike's just gonna go. I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna go. 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 <laughs> Speaking of places, he volunteers his tribute. Speaking of places, this is different. Different movie completely, but the All right, hotel that, that they. Oh, no, <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Enough of Blair Witch. <laughs> Listen, well, shut up no, a moment. Actually, we'll get to Blair Witch spoilers. So let's. let's yeah, let's, what do you got to yeah, say? Well, we'll get there. Eventually. What do you got to say, baby boy? I was just gonna say, like, speaking of places, you can apparently stay at the. Uh, what is it? The gas station, the Texas from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1970s version. You can stay at like a hotel there. It's what? Like, in the like same, really? Yeah, it's. I think it's. 
I want to say at the house. It's like it's like the the gas station or like an there. actual like. I wouldn't. That's one place I wouldn't go. No, fuck yeah, I would that. go. It's like it's like fuck where that. it's like fuck right yeah. by where they filmed the original like. Oh wow, that's, okay. that's, that's weird. weird. Is it like themed that way? Like stay at the place next to the. Hotel? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Google but, this because I've never heard of that. And then I want there to be a still door, and I want yeah. that to be my room. Yeah, that's, for the night. That'd be cool. <laughs> so and um. Now is it time for spoilers? Yeah, I mean, so we're going to go ahead and say we're going to talk about spoilers for the Blair Witch sequel. Um, if you do not want to hear these spoilers, you have 10 seconds to pause this freaking audio, go watch the movie, and come back and we'll join the back. conversation. Keep it on pause, though. Keep it on pause. So uh, we'll be right back. That's all we have to say today's episode. Um, but like I said, be sure to visit us on our website, www.horrorjunkiespodcast.com. Um, from there, you can hit up all our social medias, our Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channels. Check out our first YouTube channel that our uh, co-host Angel did. It's awesome. You're going to love it. It's completely different from what I've seen on most YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, so, you know, next week, please stay tuned. And as always... Stay weird. Stay Stay weird. weird.